Hi, this is Jackie with Salutio. In this video, I'm going to go over how to do a batch add of documents, in particular bulletins. Um, on the control panel, there should be an option for it says remove bulletin. There's also an option to um, manage the bulletins at that link because it's what we call our document manager. Um, when adding documents, the goal is that, especially something that's kind of periodical like bulletins, we want the name it usually is a date to be somewhat akin to the date that it's posted. So for example, here, October 13th, I was posted on October 19th. We can actually go into the one called October 13th and over here on the right hand side where it says date, maybe change that to match um, the weekend that it was posted. Um, one reason that's important is that the new button that shows up on the site shows up for the last seven days. So if I refresh this screen, I press F5 and that new goes away and the popular shows up if, there's, if the file's been downloaded more than 100 times. So we can also see over here the number of downloads a particular bulletin gets. To do a batch process upload is going to be this upload button right here. You should be able to click and drag as many bulletins as you like into this screen. Excuse me, I'm going to grab a couple things from my desktop just to be able to work with something. Okay, so I grabbed three files. Obviously I can do 50, 100, however many. Um, category is gonna be bulletin for all of these. And they're gonna show up down here at the bottom of the screen. Here you can um, adjust the titles one after another, if that's the way you want them to show up and then um, after these are all complete there's no way to affect the date on this screen you would choose save and then click here to close the uploader on this screen I now see those files inside that category but they're dated today the the um, cumbersome piece of this is going to be to go back into each one of these items and change its date. So if, for example, maybe this was in 2000, um, I want to set this to reflect 2015. So I'm going to click on October 2019. It takes me to um, the year so I can view each month. And then if I click on that again, I can see years. So maybe I'm going to date this to 2015, choose June, and then a weekend. I like to put the date as a Friday or Saturday before the respective Sunday that matches that. I click on the 13, then I click off that. So this is dated for June of 2013. Another option, instead of clicking the calendar and choosing the date would just be to copy this and then change that date on my next one to be the same and paste it right in there instead. And then if you wanted to change it by one day, that option works too. So that part, changing the date will be cumbersome, but I think it'll be um, a good practice in the long run. Um, I like to call this kind of work soul-saving work, because if you do it with love, like St. Therese of Lisieux, um, it'll be tedious, but it'll be done um, for merit, for souls. I hope, uh, and then of course, save and close. Be back, sure to go back to the website and check your work. I think those should be at the end of the list right there so I can go back in here and find those in here and go ahead and delete those since they don't need to stay on the site. I hope that makes sense and is helpful. If you have, if you have questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Take care and God bless.